Hi, Jeff Phillips here. Just making this video in response to a question about how a protractor that I had previously made was constructed. I'm struggling to remember myself because I made it so long ago, but I think um, it might have been something like this. I started with a, a circle, control shift and drag from the centre outwards. Well, I'm not going to get uh, dimensions exact, uh, you can do that later on by clicking the select tool and typing in different dimensions or whatever but I'll just show you how I got the graduations around the protractor or how I think I did. Now my first attempt I think I tried to put a little segment at the top here, make sure you've got snapping tools on um, quadrant points of ellipses and um, snap to paths, all these ones up here but up here if I click I'll then control to go vertically, click again and press enter and then select tool. There's my mark at the top but uh, I think I, this method failed because I want to rotate it about the center of the circle and if I click on it, zoom in, I click again you can see oh, it's a bit hard to see there's a little cross in the middle there which is the center of rotation of the segment and it's impossible to try and drag this, see what happens there, it just disappears. I can't drag it to the center of the circle. I'll control Z and delete that. So that was one of the problems I had. I think how I might have solved it was as follows. I drew a segment from the top to the bottom, click, click, enter, and then I rotated it 45 degrees. You can press the square bracket key three times, that'll do that. So I know that's at the 45 degree mark. Now if I click on it and hold down control to keep the same angle and drag it to whatever length. I'd have small little protractor divisions but I'll make it a bit bigger just to make it more obvious here. Now, now if I click on it, I zoom in and click again, you can see that little cross is still in the middle but it now lets me grab it and drag it to the centre of the circle. As long as you've got these two snapping icons clicked, if I click this you can see it snaps to the centre of the circle. So that's a bit fiddly but that's how I, I got the centre of rotation of this segment at the centre of the circle. Now I can click on the segment, bring up my transform tools, control shift M, click on rotate and type in one degree or five degrees, I'll just make it ten degrees. Now if I go control D to duplicate and then apply, control D apply, control D apply, you can see that I can get my divisions around the protractor. Of course in reality I'd make these a lot shorter, I might have them a bit thicker because they're the ten degree segments. Control D apply, Control D apply, keep doing that. And then I'd do the same uh, at the 45 degree mark. I'd create a smaller one for the 1 degree marks. If I just zoom in, I think this was the 45 degree one. You can count them round, but um, if I click on the Bezier Pen tool and click, and I'll make it the same length to start with, click and enter. I'll make it red, shift click the red and I'll click on it again and control just drag that back. If the snapping's annoying you, turn it off temporarily and you can drag it back to a smaller division, whatever. So it looks like I didn't create a new segment, I just changed the other one to red, but anyway uh, you can click on that then and I think it's, I'll click on it again, I think it's rotation, no it's rotation centers over here, so again click on it twice, drag the rotation center to the center of the circle, it's not snapping because I turned it off, turn snapping off, I'll turn all those back on, drag it back there, now it's snapped to the center, and change this to say one degree in the rotate menu, control D apply, control D apply and so on, and keep going, and that's the way I built it up. Now there is a way of doing this in one or two clicks using tiled clones but I find the problem with that is that um, uh, all the clones are copies and sometimes you just want to change one, make it a bit shorter or thicker. You've got to disconnect the rest of them from the original and it can get a bit fiddly. Uh, perhaps that's another video or you can probably search the search YouTube for an example on using tiled clones to create a clock face I think and there's a method there. Anyway I hope that helps. Uh, let us know how you get on. Bye for now.